Hi, this is Steve from MyTechie. This is the second video we're doing about Scareware. In the first one we showed you um, a site that was offering up Scareware and showing you that you were infected. In this one we're going to infect ourselves and have a look at the software that's actually installed. So we're just going to get to the image and to the website that was coming up with the message. And This is it. And you see it then redirects off to something that pretends that it's installing or pretends that it's scanning the machine for viruses and what we're going to do is click on it and try to download the software so click on run and say yes we want to install this you see this is this window security alert here is actually part of the the fake antivirus um, and we'll try and close these and we'll start getting all sorts of messages still trying to download the software so we can close these because we know that it's installing in the background uh, cancel this and that that's popped up at the back there this is the program itself now that's installed so we'll get rid of Internet Explorer and we can see that it says that it's scanning the computer and finding all of these viruses that don't actually exist. Remember the only malicious malicious program on here is this scanner itself. Um, now the key to all of this is what they really want is your money. Um, and this is done through this activate button here. If we just stop the scan we can see it and it will go to activate and if we say yes let's activate internet protection over the internet you see we've got a page here um, and it all looks legit it says even that we're saving fifty dollars only paying seventy nine ninety nine for the privilege uh, and look it's got two cows saying it's brilliant and there's all these money-back guarantees none of it's true um, so we'll close that close these and what we'll do is we'll reboot the computer and see what happens uh, when the machine restarts again. Uh, you may have noticed a couple of warnings come up already saying that there were things um, running on the machine that we ought to be concerned about. Now the computer's starting back up again and we'll see pretty quickly a message come up saying that it's scanning for um, viruses <coughs> and finds lots of them. Uh, just as it did before um, so this is really irritating once that it's on because it will just simply keep up asking again and again and again for activation to clear all of these things that don't exist let's stop the scan and this time if we say yes I've already got the, the activation key you'll see that it comes up with a, a window to type it in which is all quite sophisticated and looks fine I don't know what ha what actually happens if you buy a key and put it in there here's a message saying that there's um, some internet protection needed and so it takes you back to try and um, activate the product all of these things are driving you to try and send them some money um, and we've had people come in and who've paid and then found that they're still infected once they've paid the money to try and clear up. Right, so if we try and do some normal work, you see we start getting these messages pop up as well, uh, driving us to activate, but if we click no, you see we're, yes, we want to carry on unprotected, and instead we'll try Malwarebytes. Um, this is very good software, um, and usually finds um, infections on the machine, uh, but, and we'll kick it off and we'll jump forward a little bit even while it's running we're getting messages up saying that there's infections found and we'll continue unprotected um, get my word bites up but what we find with this is if we skip forward a bit more um, it doesn't find any infected mess any infected items so if we look here it says um, time elapsed about two minutes, nothing in memory, no files, no registry keys infected. 
So Malwarebytes has found nothing. So really the only thing we can do is uh, to close the windows and find a different way to clean this machine. It's a shame really because um, it's an excellent piece of software. Uh, there's lots of other messages that come up. Uh, here we've got one uh, that the computer has been attacked from a remote machine. Uh, the point is, is that these messages will keep coming up until the, the machine is cleaned and cleaned legitimately and not by sending them $80. Um, and so you need to either find someone professional to do it or do it yourself. I mean, we do it um, for our customers in Wigan and I'm sure there's someone nearby who could do it for you too. Or you could sort of drop us an email if you find that you've got these problems and we can see what we can do. The main thing here is being aware of what sites look like when they're trying to infect you and making sure that you don't go through the process yourself. I hope this has been useful. Please let me know through the comments or drop me an email uh, if there's anything here that you would have liked to have seen or anything constructive would be great. Um, and if I come across anything else that might help, I'll put it together and post it up here. Okay, thanks for watching.